She... I... You're correct. I feel her dark heart beat within my own no longer. He rises up to his full height, peering down at you intently through his icy eyes. But tell me this. Did you happen to find a wand upon her? Slain rears back in eagerness, grasping the purging wand with razor-sharp claws. Before your eyes, the source from within the wand surges into his draconic form, filling him with a light so bright that you must shield your eyes from the glare. The blazing brightness dies down. Squinting, you now see no dragon before you, but the figure of a handsome lizard. A handsome lizard with the same eyes as Slain. His eyes still blaze, a piercing silver. A triumphant smile dominates his face as he bows extravagantly before you. Slain, at your service. All like me have such eyes. With them, I see spirits. Not a blessing on this haunted island. You are lucky not to see the desperation that lies before me. If everyone thought like you, this vile place would be little more than a sunny island. Perhaps before we're done, we can return it to such a state. Knowing such a steadfast and noble soul offers help to those in need gives me great comfort. I'd like to offer you when you are truly at a loss. When you have no choice but to back down or perish. You will find safety in my shadow. This, I promise. This is an island of many mysteries, of many horrors. I'll learn what I can. Perhaps there is some possible reprieve for the souls who suffer here. Slain smiles at you and turns to leave. He takes no more than a few steps before he shimmers out of lizard form, blurring in midair back into a majestic dragon that soars away.
you! The feeling is mutual. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your kindness. Now I'm just trying to get used to life as a pig. It's not so easy. I never did enjoy truffles. Well, I can trace it all back to Bracchus Rex, of course. Many of us opposed his reign. Few dared to speak against him, though. A few of us wizards took the chance, though. We figured if we spread the word of his deeds, we might encourage enough people to come together. But we underestimated the cowardice of our comrades. All we succeeded in doing was being branded heretics and brought to Bracchus Rex's court. The results were horrifying. A double curse turned into pigs and set aflame for eternity. I like not being on fire, so I don't want to complain too much about the pig part. I'm not sure. I have prayed to Armadia, but she offers no answers. Really? Hmm. There must be a shrine there. If anyone can restore me to my previous wizardly self, it's Armadia. I'm so grateful for this news. I'm going there now to seek Armadia's blessing. Thank you. The ancient wooden door reeks of salt and seaweed. Not a single nick or gouge mars the detailed face carved across its surface. <laughs> 